Hi, my name is Peter from Course Makers Crew, and today we shot at a very, very expensive location that is definitely real. Well, actually, it's not. It's a set. So today I'd like to tell you how we made this set, and especially how we made this background that you have here behind me. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's go. Bigger, bolder, faster, going to the maximum. Um, bigger, bolder, faster. So you may be wondering, why would I choose a digital background over a nice, you know, wooden panels and a concrete wall and stuff like that, right? I can just build it myself. Actually, we have wooden panels in our studio that you can see right over here. It's actually a bit smaller. It's like one third of the size of the digital panels. And we would need two more to have the same effect. However, let me just show you how heavy it is. <laughs> OK, so I can move it. Yeah, but it's a very, very good workout. And sometimes at our studio, we have two or three separate setups each week. And sometimes we have a shoot on a Monday. Then after the 10 hour day shoot, we need to change the setup for the next day. It would be very inefficient to take out all of those wooden panels and concrete walls. Actually, we have a concrete wall right over there, but I won't show you how heavy it is because it's really, really heavy and just please believe me. So that's why we went digital. We went digital for the efficiency. Okay, I will move it back. Yeah, it's a good workout. Using digital backgrounds is great. You can save time, you can make any background that you want, but it has its disadvantages as well. First of all, you have to look out for spill. As you can see, it's very easy to have a lot of spill on the background and it looks really, really bad. Even here in this setup, we had to make some sacrifices. We needed to sacrifice some of the saturation and some of the contrast in order to have the lightning setup that we wanted. Usually, when using lights with a beam projector like here, you will need some kind of a grid. Grids are very neat and they're always our best friend when working with beam projectors. They help you to focus the light and they help you to reduce the spill. Also, you can use something like a blanket or barn doors like here on Kinoflow. If you look closely on our setup, you can see that we have a grid on our key light. Also, we have a grid on our fill light. And yes, you could argue that using a jambal is creating a lot of spill and all the grids that we are using are useless. And you would be probably right. But in this lighting setup, we needed to sacrifice the background in order to make the talent look great. We wanted to have a beauty light, we wanted the person to look charming and beautiful. Sometimes you have to sacrifice your background or other things in the frame in order to make your talent look his or her best. Actually, I always try to remember about that. Alright, that's all I have prepared for you today. If you'd like to see a video how we make backgrounds like this in Unreal Engine 5, then leave me a comment down below. Also, be sure to subscribe and press the bell so we know when we have a new video. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope we can see each other soon. Bye.